Hey, 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 welcome to the part three of getting started with Terraforms. Um, so in the first part, we basically uh, saw what Terraform is and um, why is it so popular, right? And the second part, we basically learned how to configure our AWS uh, account uh, with Terraform. And now we have the first tutorial, basically. We are gonna create an S3 bucket with Terraform. Let's get started straight back into action. All right, so this is my S3 um, Amazon AWS account, right? And we're gonna write our first Terraform script, right? So uh, I just created a folder called as YouTube, so go there. Now, what I wanna do is basically open this in an IntelliJ. Uh, the reason for doing an IntelliJ, I usually have a professional version because it, uh, it'll do all like code um, auto completion for you, all of that. I, I'll show you what I mean, because um, when we write it, so IntelliJ will be helping us to write the code. We don't have to uh, memorize the syntax, right? So, <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna use IntelliJ. And by the way, if you don't know, it's free for students. If you have a corporate account, you can get IntelliJ absolutely free. All right, with that being said, um, hopefully this should load up pretty quickly. Might take a minute or two. All right, all right. So here we have IntelliJ. Um, so preparing your workspace. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. So left click on the project, um, wherever your folder is, right? So uh, yeah, it's actually preparing my um, IDE right now. So I'm gonna click on new and you wanna click on file. You wanna say s3.tf. Remember .tf stands for Terraform. So uh, you definitely wanna do that. And remember, remember very, very important uh, if you're following my first two videos. Uh, so we install Terraform and we, it should be inside the bin folder. And in the AWS folder, uh, we should have your credentials. I showed you the samples of that. So make sure to follow that. If you don't have it that way, it's not gonna work out, okay? So yeah, that's pretty, pretty important. So we're gonna write our first Terraform. So uh, so let's write, um, so let, let's write, so we're gonna say provider. So here you can see IntelliJ is helping me, provider. Hmm, what happened? Okay, so provider will say AWS because I'm gonna show AWS total. Now we are gonna say something called as profile. Um, again, IntelliJ is helping me. Profile would be default, uh, so I'm gonna say D-E-F-A-U-L-T. I'm gonna write the very simple Terraform script. Uh, region, I am using US East one, that is not Virginia. Whatever uh, region you are, so make sure to enter that. So. This basically means, uh, what this means is provider AWS means, hey, go to the folder AWS and find the credentials from this folder, okay? That is what it means. That's why I was telling you, like, if you did not follow, make sure to follow it from tutorial one. So, uh, this finds the, and this is how you write comments. So this finds the folder called as AWS and uh, finds the folder as AWS and it gets the, Creds. Okay, just in simple language, I've written something. Now we wanna create an S3 bucket. So whenever you wanna create something, you say resource, right? So we will uh, S3 buckets. Okay, so the way you would do that is say resource. And again, it helps me. So at AWS, and I wanna create S3, S3 bucket. And I'm just gonna name this as TF course, Terraform course. Okay, now the bucket name should be unique globally. Uh, I, I, you know that, right? So I'm just gonna say Sawmill Sha 1995-001, okay? And ACL means the bucket type should be private. That's it, that's my first Terraform script. Okay, so you wanna open terminal right here. So T-E-R-R a f o r m terraform so it's already installed right so i would say t e r r a terraform plan so what plan does i'll show you what plan does so if i just say terraform plan oh before even doing that i forgot one command you need to initialize the terraform sorry for that um uh let me actually cancel this terminate terminal okay so we first say t e Terra form in it. So this is gonna basically initialize Terraform for you, right? So checking for available provider, AWS, all of that, it's gonna do all of that. It's gonna install the plugins for you. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah, might take a minute or two depending upon your internet speed. Um, yeah, so just wait for a while, be patient. That's important. <laughs> 
Mm, oh boy, that's taking a long time. <laughs> yeah, let's wait. I'm not gonna edit this video, so let's see how long it takes. All right, so we are up and uh, up with that. So now I will say te terra form plan. Plan means what is plan, guys? Plan means it's gonna show you the plan. What what is my plan? Like, hey, what's your plan? Terraform. So it's gonna show you. Okay, I'm gonna do. do I'm gonna create a bucket, right? So that's what the plan means. So let's just see the plan. What Terraform plan uh, shows us on the screen. So I'm gonna uh, say Terraform our plan. So let's see that. I don't know why is it slow. My Docker is not running, is it? Let me close all of my background things. Yeah, my computer is a little slow today. Oh yeah, Docker, stupid. That's eating my memory all the time. <laughs> no worries, it's fine. So uh, here you can see, uh, so it came up with a plan, okay? Stupid Docker, get away from here, man. <laughs> yeah, stupid, seriously. Uh, what the hell? Yeah, whatever. So here you can see uh, the Terraform actually came up with a plan, right? So this plan says that the ACL, the bucket type would be private, right? Uh, this is what it came up with. Now, if you wanna execute your Terra Terraform uh, plan or you would say Terraform script so that it does create uh, stuff, Terra form and apply is the command. So this is gonna basically apply your uh, plan or you can also basically uh, explicitly uh, say that. Um, I'll show you about that. Give me one sec. Yeah, I want to get rid of this Docker stuff. I mean, always it's annoying. So, oh boy, what's that now? <laughs> So as soon as I say apply, uh, you should apply the, uh, so yeah, just wait, that's my computer is a little bit slow. Sorry for that. All right, uh, so now it's asking me whether you wanna apply that plan. So let, let us review the plan. It says the bucket type would be private and it's gonna create a, a AWS S3 bucket, right? Uh, so here you can see it's basically asking me, hey, do you wanna execute this plan? And I'm gonna say yes. By the way, before doing that, let me just show you, I don't have a bucket known as Somilsha 1995001, okay? So now I'm gonna say yes. Now it's gonna apply the Terraform script, right? So here you can see, TF course creating. So it's creating the Terraform, uh, it's executing my Terraform script. So apply complete, resource one added, zero changes, and zero destroyed. Now let us look at the AWS S3. As soon as I refresh, I should see the bucket right here, okay? And voila, yeah, we have the bucket guys. You just created a bucket. All right, so congratulations. That is the very first step of your Terraform. Uh, you basically learned how to create a Terraform. You learned how to execute a Terraform. So you first create a plan. So you can also create plan like this. So you can say Terraform. And I'll also show you how to destroy that, right? So Terraform, and if you want to destroy, so you would say plan, if you want to destroy that bucket, You would say destroy, D-E-S-T-R-O-Y. You would say out, and you would basically, I would name this as desk dot plan. The, the 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 ending should be dot plan, okay? So this is basically this is gonna create a destroy plan for us. It'll show us all the plan that it does, and then we'll execute it by saying dot apply. That's how Terraform works, okay? So yeah, so now we are gonna delete this bucket, okay? Sorry, my computer guys is a little slow. It's uh, it's kind of annoying. I I mean, I just upgraded the RAM to 16 GB, but still, it's um, it's it's kind of slow. So so the refresh date will be used. To, okay, that's fine. So it's 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 coming up with a plan. Okay, so hold on. So it's gonna create a file called as a desktop plan in your directory. Okay, let us review that. So here it's saying that the private would be null. So everything would be null, 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 null. Basically, that means it's gonna destroy everything. Now let us delete that bucket. So Terra form, okay, apply. Then we would say the name of the uh, plan, desktop plan, and check this out, guys. So 
yeah my computer is kind of little slow i just recently updated the ram also like to 16 gb but yeah when i run all the docker and all of that uh, yeah it's a yeah so this is going to execute the terraform script or the plan that we had right and this bucket would be deleted okay so yeah so let's see so here you can see now destroyed one now if i refresh and tada gone right so that's it for this video hope you have enjoyed uh, working with terraform if so do give a like uh, as usual guys uh, keep learning keep smiling in the upcoming videos we'll learn about the ec2 instance with terraform so uh, have questions kindly post your questions in the comments and uh, we shall try our best to reach out to you all right see you guys in the next video bye bye